everybody. Welcome to the Rockbridge Regional Library Story Time. It is spooky out here and we are getting ready for Halloween. So this week we're going to be reading all kinds of books about Halloween and pumpkins and monsters and creepy creepies. So today we thought we would come to our local cemetery so we could get some peace and quiet. And Rose here is already ready for Halloween. Little sneak peek already ready for Halloween. <laughs> so let's get started. Let's do our Hello Friends song. So if you remember, we'll say hello, and then these are your friends, and then you do this to make them hug, and then it's time to say hello, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello again. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. All right, you guys. Okay, so we're going to warm up a little bit. So let's stand up. It's always good to get your body moving and your blood flowing and just get up and move around a little bit. So this is called wake up feet. Are you ready Rose? Do you remember this one? We're gonna start by wiggling our feet. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Wake up feet. Wake up feet. Wake up feet and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up feet. Wake up feet. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Okay, what should we wiggle next? eyes okay guys <laughs> let's get our eyes waked up woken up woken up all right wake up eyes <laughs> wake up eyes wake up eyes and wiggle 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 how do you wiggle, wiggle eyes wake up eyes wake up eyes wake up and wiggle in the morning all right wiggle. last one what should we wiggle now how about our head. arm our head, head. Head. Okay, final one. I can't do arms. Though. That's true. Wake up wings. Okay. <laughs> Wake up wings. No, no, oh, no. Can we do head first and then wings? We'll just do head. Okay, ready? Wake up head. Wake up head. Wake up head. Wake up head and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up head. Wake up head. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Now wings. All right. Okay. We're gonna, we're just gonna wake up our wings too, just in case. All right. Wake up wings. Wake up wings. Wake up wings and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wake up wings. Wake up wings. Wake up and wiggle in the morning. Okay. This is what I have to do. I feel all warmed up and ready for reading. So that only leaves one question. And guess what, guys? I don't have my ukulele. So we're gonna have to do without my amazing hey, you take off my wings for ukulele so styling. And it's time for if you're ready for a story. Are you ready for a story, Rose? Okay, if you're ready for a story. Guess what I can sit on my head. Clap your hands. Okay, guys, I don't have a ukulele, but that's okay. We're gonna do it with just our voice today. One, two, three. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're Ready for a story? Sit real still. <laughs> if you're ready for a story, sit real still. <laughs> if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, ready for a story, sit real still. Can you hold it? How long can you hold it? Okay, I'm putting you down. All right, guys. I think we're ready for a story, officially. So this first uh, one, whoops, 
Rose's hair is not ready for a story. <laughs> okay, so here is a book which is really sweet. And it gets me all, I'm gonna sit there. It gets me all ready for Halloween. So if you wanna watch, let's look at the book, Rose. You can sit right there, okay? Right over here by Daddy, good. Okay, this book is called Pick a Pumpkin and it's by Trisha Toe, illustrated by Jarvis. Jarvis Marvis. <laughs> Just Jarvis. And this is brought to us by Candlewick Press. Pick a pumpkin from the patch. Have you guys been picking pumpkins? No. <laughs> There's still time. Tall and lean or short and fat. Vivid orange, ghostly white or speckled green might be just right. Hey, look, look, look. Donut. Donut. <laughs> Pumpkin snuggly in your arms, wheel a wagon through the farm. Stop for mugs of spicy punch, toffee apples, sweet to crunch. Homeward from the pumpkin patch, all your goodies stacked in back. Now, I wonder what's gonna happen. Brush or wipe your pumpkin clean, rub it smooth and make it gleam. Find the perfect carving space, lined with papers just in case you make a mess. Next, gather other things you need, a bowl, a spoon for scooping seeds, a tool to trace a spooky face, and plastic saws for cutting shapes. Then, Invite around a friend or two. Form a pumpkin carving crew. Looks like they're all ready. Let grown-ups cut the top bit off, big enough for hands to fit. Reach down deep in the hole, grab the seeds and give a pull. Ew, do you like the insides of no! it? No! <laughs> I do and I don't. Lumpy chunks. Sticky strings, clumpy seeds, guts, and things. With a spoon, scrape sides neatly. Clean the inside out completely. Now, all together. Carve the eyes, giant circles of surprise. Small slits sleeping on one, or one eye peeping. Cross-eyed crazy, angry, lazy. And below those, make a nose, a triangle, a pinprick. A nose that grows from thin to thick. Under the nose, what, do you, what comes under the mouth. nose? Oh, is where the mouth goes. A kiss, a frown, a toothy grin, a zigzag, zigzag gap cut long and thin. A smirk, a snarl, an eerie o, or pointy fangs all in a row. But wait, before you light your new creation, first it's time for decorations. Cobwebs strung from post to post, rings of gauzy dancing ghosts, spiders, tombstones, dangling bats, skeletons and witches' hats. Oh, they're getting ready. You guys decorating your homes outside? Yep. Now quick, slip on gear to trick or treat and grab a sack to hold your sweets. Oh, we've got a witch, we've got like a bear. That's a werewolf. Um, a werewolf, a mummy, a ghost, and a pumpkin. Lift your pumpkins up with pride. March it to a place outside. Set it safely on the ground and call the crew to gather round. Ask someone to strike a match. Watch the candle's wick will catch. See it glow outside your door. Look, it's not a pumpkin anymore. It's a... Jack-o-lantern. Oh. Jack-o-lantern. Its red hot eyes will gaze and flicker. Its fiery grin will blaze and snicker to guard your house while you have fun. Happy Halloween, everyone! Look at him go. Halloween is such a fun time. That's my favorite. Witch going across the moon. <laughs> the end. There's the, there's the witch. Alien Frankenstein. Alien and Frankenstein. Another mummy. Two ghosts. Very cool. Oh, somebody in the doorway. And a cat on the roof. Oh, and I know what could be creepy for Finn's house. You know how um, that sea spider. 
You know how that C-3PO in R2-D2 creeped me out? Yeah. That could look like a person in the window. <laughs> True. I remember okay. I thought it was Mr. Jim, and I was like, why are we moving? Okay, so do you want to sing a song about ghosts? Because I have a song about ghosts. So the three little... And it, and it goes with the tune, The Wheels on the Bus. But instead, it's the ghosts, it's the ghosts in the house. Go boo, 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 okay? So are you ready? Let's try to do this song. You want to do it with me? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. The ghost in the house goes boo, 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 boo. The ghost in the house goes boo, boo, boo on Halloween. Okay, now the cat in the house is going to go meow, meow, meow. The cat in the house goes meow, 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 meow. The cat in the house goes meow, meow, meow on Halloween. The mice in the house go squeak, 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 squeak. The mouse in the house goes on Halloween, the children in the house go trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat. The children in the house go trick or treat on Halloween. Very good. What about the mummy in the house goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. The mummy in the house goes yeah. on Halloween. But you can think of other ones. The witch in the house goes, hee, 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 The witch in the house goes, on Halloween. <laughs> so clearly you can make up your own, you know, verses of that song, however you see fit. Okay, my the next... skeleton! Now, we could be here all day, but this book you is super... <sighs> okay, so this little book is about three little ghosties, okay? I couldn't resist this one because it's about ghosties. And it's by Pippa Goodhart mm -hmm. and illustrated by Anna Laura Cantone. Oh. <laughs> and this one comes to us by Bloomsbury Children's Books. They don't look so fierce. I think they're okay. Three little ghosties sat on their posties, eating burnt toasties, telling big boasties. Said ghosty number one, I went to scare ghoulies, sitting at their schoolies, learning spelling rulies. I went, whoa, 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 boo. And they all dropped their booksies with silly frightened looksies, then ran away home to bed. Hee, 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 laughed the three little ghosties. Well, said ghosty number two, I scared some mean witches sitting in dark ditches, lipsticking their lipses, plotting evil trickses. I went clank, clank, shiver, shake, boo. And they all jumped with the frighties, then flew off in their nighties, then hide to hide in the deep dark wood. Hee hee hee, laughed the three little ghosties. Ghosty number three said, I scared a huge ogre as big as six treesies, standing in the breezies, picking at his fleezies. I spooked him with a moe. Boo! He glumped through the woodses as fast as he coulds. I want my mommy, he said. He <laughs> he laughed the three little ghosties. Then the three little ghosties, all sitting on their posties, had finished their burnt toasties. Said ghosty number one, now what shall we do for a bit of fun? Let's go haunting and scare some girlsies. Yeah, and boysies too. Oh, I'm trying to scare somebody. So they flew off 
their posties and came wailing, sailing, flailing down to my house. Whoa, whoa. They ghosty slither slid through the window cracksies and creak pushed open my door. They thought I was asleep, so they started to creep. Creepy, creepy, whisper, whisper, closer, closer. They open their mouths and I sat up in bed and shouted, Boo! Help! yelped the ghosties. They tumble, tangle, fled out from my bedroom and into the night. Quivering like jellies, those three little ghosties wobbled to their posties, sucking on their thumbsies, waiting for their mumsies, who came and caught and scolded them and sent them home to bed. Look, there's mom and dad. And that was the end of that. <laughs> it backfired on those three little ghosties. Thank you. Thank you. It backfired. Okay, so I have another song for you. Now this one, let me see if you can guess. <laughs> yes. Here, stick them on my finger. So you guys might know this one. This is a classic. This is a classic, classic. This is a classic pumpkin song. Now, if you have five fingers, which you probably do, put them up. And you're going to put your arm like this. This is your gate, and you're going to have five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. Okay? Let's do this song. Do you know this one? Okay. One, two, three, five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, Oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, There are witches in the air. The third one said, But we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one says, we're ready for some fun. And whoosh went the wind. And out went the lights. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Yeah? Should we do it again? Yeah. Let's do it again. Here's your gate. Here's your five pumpkins. I don't have to do it. All right. One, two, three, five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, but we don't care. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. The fifth one said, we're ready for some fun. And whoosh went the wind and out went the lights. And the five little pumpkins rolled out of sight. Yay! Whoa. I like that one. I like that song. I would sing it all year round if it made sense. Okay, I have one book left for you. Now this one is about a little monster who really would like to be in a scary book. So, and I mean, this little monster, he looks a little scary. I don't really know what's going on, so let's find out. I don't think he looks out. scary. You don't think so? I've seen scarier things. Okay, so this is by Sean Taylor and illustrated by Jean Julien. I want to be in a scary story. This is brought to us by Candlewick Press. Hello, little monster. What do you want to do today? Can I be in a story? All right, what sort of story? I want to be in a scary story. A funny story might be more fun. Not for me, it won't be. Okay, we could start the story in a dark and scary forest. That's a good idea. You ready then, little monster? You bet I am. My golly gosh! Oh, that looks scary. Is that too scary? It might be. Would you rather it was just a spooky house? That sounds better. 
Oh my goodness me! Oh. Mm. Ooh, this is maybe a little too scary. Is that too spooky? A little bit, but never mind. Well, now something scary is going to happen. What? You go inside and a creepy witch will jump out. Oh, okay, okay. <gasps> oh, yikes and cranks! <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather something else jump out instead of the witch? Maybe. How about a ghost? Okay, a ghost. <laughs> oh, jeepers creepers! <laughs> <laughs> you better run, little monster. Hold on, this is too scary. Well, you did say you wanted to be in a scary story. I know. But I want to be in a scary story where I do the scaring. Oh, you want to be the scary one. Yeah! Okay then, you can creep up the stairs, sneak over to the door, and then scare the person inside. All right. Okay, he's ready. This is more fun now. Hmm. I found the door. Now I'm going to be scary. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Who is going to be in there? The witch. What? Look, can we make some change to this book so it's a funny story? All right, little monster. There could be just a teeny weeny monkey and his friend in there. Good. That's going to be so much funnier. I can easily scare him. <laughs> it's not fair if his friend's ginormous like that. But you said you want this to be a funny story now, didn't you? Yes. Well, it's going to be funny if a ginormous monkey and a teeny weeny monkey start chasing a monster, isn't it? Not for me, it won't be. <laughs> Unless... Unless what? Hey, little monster, are you okay? Uh oh. Little monster, are are you out there? Out here. Are you out here? The forest is dark and scary. Little monster, this isn't funny. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> that kind of, I scared myself. <laughs> now that was scary, little monster. And that was funny too. So, can I be in a story again tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> the end. Well, he's got, he's got a, a, a future in scaring, I think, because that was pretty scary. That last boo really got me. All right, friends. Well, get ready for Halloween. I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween, but one thing you have to remember when you do Halloween, especially as soon as you get home, before you dig into your candy, wash your hands. So let's do it again. Topsy buddies, topsy buddies. Tops and bottoms. One, two, three. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. Again, tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. Rub them all together, rub them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. All right, friends. So until tomorrow, when we do another story time, I'll have to say, see you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish.
<laughs> See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, underwear. <laughs> Wave goodbye, butterfly. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy Halloween!